The UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson visits Sweden and Finland today as both countries' parliaments prepare to vote on becoming full members of NATO. Polls suggest there's overwhelming support for joining the alliance amid fears they need to strengthen security if Russia moves beyond its war in Ukraine. Well, a short while ago, I spoke to Fabrice Potier, political analyst from the International Institute of Strategic Studies. I began by asking him how significant a step would NATO membership be for both countries as well as the alliance. Uh, well, I think this is, this is a pretty significant step uh, at many levels. First, obviously, politically, it sends a pretty strong signal to Vladimir Putin that his entire strategy is backfiring. He's basically lost two of the relatively neutral uh, uh, countries uh, in, in Europe who are now joining uh, the uh, NATO alliance. That's one thing. Then in terms of defense capabilities, these are two countries who are actually ready to go, uh, really more fit than actually many other NATO allies. They would bring some real serious capabilities, both, for example, the Finnish land forces, but also the F-35. And the Swedes also have some serious stuff, including the Air Force and, and maritime domain. So, so I think it's a win-win for both the alliance and for them. Well, both countries have feared a Russian invasion or incursion into their territories for quite some time. Of course, historically, it's happened before in Finland's case. How do you think Russia is likely to react to this move? Well, we, we have seen already uh, uh, the before taste of, of Russian reaction. Uh, it's actually the Russian reaction has been kind of creeping since 2014, 2015, since those two countries have got much closer to NATO than, than before. Uh, there was obviously, and there will be probably some nuclear saber rattling. Uh, there might be some cyber operation and cyber pressure on some of those countries' critical infrastructure or some companies. Uh, and, and there would be some, some statements by you know, Russian diplomats and so on, threatening uh, consequences. But the bottom line is these two countries are very capable of defending themselves. And importantly, why the British Prime Minister is flying today to both uh, uh, Helsinki and Stockholm is to assure those two uh, capitals that the UK, alongside the US, will provide bilateral security uh, guarantees uh, uh, so that when they declare the intention of joining the alliance until the point where they are legally member, they will have the protection of some of the alliance's most capable allies. Can we expect to see any significant steps on the ground? I'm thinking of uh, troop deployments to reinforce the borders in Finland and Sweden. That, uh, I think, is too early to say. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, those two countries, especially Finland, has very uh, significant land forces. So I think for the time being, they are entirely capable of, of doing that job alone. And this would be essentially a sovereign decision of Finland and Sweden and also a decision of the alliance. And I don't think this is yet on the table. What is on the table is uh, their membership. And my bet is that they will be sitting at the NATO heads of state uh, table at the Madrid summit at the end of June.